Most companies that offer perforating services also offer a variety of open hole and cased hole logging services. And much of the basic equipment is the same. The equipment includes the perforating tools themselves, of course, the cable, the sheaves, tension indicator, the logging truck, including a cable winch and electronic control panels, and the pressure control system. The tools include a casing collar locator run above the perforating guns, which magnetically detects the position of each casing collar as the tool string is pulled up the hole. Gun weights are sometimes added to help move the tool string down the hole. Remember that the well pressure is acting against the cross-sectional area of the cable. For example, a common cable size of 7 seconds of an inch would need a tool string weight of 190 pounds to exactly offset the force exerted on the cable suspended in a well with 5,000 PSIA at the surface. The monoconductor cable normally used for perforating is an armored line with several layers of armor and with an insulated conductor core. If multi-conductor cable is used, as is sometimes the case in low pressure situations, the normal seven conductor electrical wire line cable is used with its armor layers and individually insulated conductors. The sheave assembly is used to suspend the tools over the well and direct the cable from the truck or wireline unit. Between the top sheave and the rig elevators or crane is a tension measuring device which measures the strain on the cable. Modern perforating and logging trucks include the drum of conductor cable and the winch system to spool it in and out of the well. A depth measurement device for keeping track of the tool's position electrical control equipment and a 120 volt AC generator and also a recording device for displaying the measured log data versus depth on a film strip or for recording it on magnetic tape. 